Hello, and welcome back to Spiritual Astrology. Today, we're going to talk about Moon and Sagittarius. So the Moon and Sagittarius, <clears throat> I know a few people in my life with Moon and Sagittarius, and I love it. It's strange as a Capricorn. It's a very different energy than my Capricorn Sun, but it's a very open, um, trusting, any Sagittarius placement, like it's similar to the Sagittarius rising, how I've mentioned how everyone loves the Sagittarius rising. Sagittarius moon is very open-minded. It's kind of like an eager feeling. So these people have a perpetual need to not be cooped up. And it's like they're constantly expanding their minds and constantly expanding. And they're always kind of surprised at what they're learning. And it's always a naive kind of feeling. So imagine kind of like if you have that, it's kind of like how you see your thinking. So as a Gemini moon, um, basically the moon signs are your mental state, right? And it's your emotions. So it's, it's how you go about uh, reacting to the world around you mentally processing a lot of things and with Gemini Moon I kind of am addicted to little bits of information here and there. Sagittarius Moons want to know the reason for everything. So it's different than Gemini Moon because Gemini Moon is just really ridiculous. I, like I, I can see, I see this as in myself. We get really bored super easily and we just kind of preoccupy ourselves by reading little, kind of picking up little things around us and kind of looking at everything. Sagittarius moon is really expanded, happy-go-lucky, just free, awesome. Generally, they're interested in things that are like cultural. So the arts, um, social kind of why people do what they do, but it kind of in a more meaning kind of sense than Gemini because Gemini will just be like this is how it is but they won't connect the dots Sagittarius wants to go from here to there it's one the like single focused so when they ask a question it's gonna have meaning because you know it's it's asking about life it's just really naive um, they like the idea of being physically active generally Sagittarius moons what I've noticed is that if they're not necessarily physically active people they won't say no to doing something that's physically active these people aren't like negative and they don't suppress anything unless there's another thing in their chart that would suggest this um, generally these people I like these people are the people I talk to uh, uh, about so social stuff psychology um, sociology, anthropology, uh, these people always have an opinion regardless if they're intellectual. So Gemini is intellectual. So my moon and my rising sign being an air sign is very intellectual. I'll know little bit, bits and facts about information. I don't generally use it to, to anything. Generally air signs are kind of like the mad scientist. Sagittarius is a fire sign. So these people will like you, if you have this or if you know anyone, try to kind of keep in mind and kind of observe and see whether or not you notice that Sagittarius moon is interested in these kind of like sociology in a way that is not intellectual. So Sagittarius rules over the universities and colleges and and it's in a way that's fiery. So you know fire signs are all about getting enthusiastic about something. So it's just the enthusiasm about doing that. So I remember when I started university, my father's a Sagittarius, I have Sagittarius MC, and I have Mars in Sagittarius. I was excited about the idea of going to university, but regardless of the down-to-earth, realistic, kind of practical stuff, it was just the prospect of starting a new journey. That's what Sagittarius Moon's like. I'm not saying that these people are like adventurous because I don't, the people that I know with Sagittarius moons aren't necessarily adventurous because that comes in the realm of more Aries and Scorpio really because it's kind of going into new ground and probing. Um, but yeah, Sagittarius love being outside regardless of whether or not they say it, they usually like that. Um, they need personal freedom. They need kind of some sort of socialization just as long as it's kind of staying active. Um, but they kind of get lost in translation in the sense that they it's less about whether or not they're being heard for what they're saying and about 
expressing themselves in the moment. So there's less detail. There's less detail orientation there. Um, but they're so kind of enthusiastic that they worry less than other people. So generally I find Sagittarius moons, they worry, they can worry about the future, but they are good at doing what they're doing now. They don't put themselves down. They don't pressure themselves in any way. Um, basically they just really just believe that things are going to work out because why not? That's Sagittarius for you. That's Sagittarius sun, moon, any placement. It's just faith. Faith that things are going to work out because, you know, we all die. Who cares, you know? That's kind of what Sagittarius is. I have a Sagittarius moon in my family who's very um, interested in philosophy and sociology and psychology, but they don't read up on it. Basically, they just kind of wing it. And you can, I have a conversation with them, and it's very heartfelt because it's genuine. And it comes from a place of truly naive uh, curiosity. They, they're they really fun though and I find that when they smile and when they involve themselves in anything they can be really entertaining regardless of the rest of their birth chart. Um, basically these what, what I've always said about Sagittarius moons is your home is wherever you're not. So one thing I should mention because when this video is being uploaded the future or the elected pres the presidential elect Donald Trump has Sagittarius moon. So looking at that, I started to compare different Sagittarius moons and one quality about Sagittarius moons is these people kind of feel like they need to have a kingdom. Um the Sagittarius moons I know are a bit luxurious, extravagant. Um you know, money can come into their life and then go and it's just what they need. Deep down, they need kind of this. And I love being around that energy. Maybe it's my Sagittarius Mars and my Midheaven, but I think it is because in public, it's just kind of this grand expression of, um, it's just this pure fire energy that you need to be extravagant and expressive. And I find a lot of these people love nice homes and they just find a way of getting them. Um, they, aren't most people just never leave their hometown and i find sagittarius moons are people that just have a deep sense of knowing what they're talking about like they just f have that confidence it's kind of like a quiet confidence you know well said i mean you know donald trump is a gemini so he was born during a full moon which actually makes his moon sign stronger. And I believe this is the key to his personality. It's the Gemini Sagittarius opposition. It's kind of the cockiness that um, he knows and he feels like he knows what he's talking about. And that he, regardless of, you know, the detail that he do, can put into his conversations. And that's the moon because Sagittarius moon is less about detail and more about kind of living life and going out and experiencing. And it's, it's just, it's an energy that you kind of have to feel when you're around you know, there's an impatience to Sagittarius rising. They can't, they're too candid. They're too kind of genuine and optimistic and kind of just too there. So that's a Sagittarius kind of feeling. Um, they're, they can be very interested in sales because it's all about the, ex, like the, um, display of goods, the display of anything, the extravagance, and that's what sales is about. My dad is a Sagittarius son who is a salesman, and, uh, you know, these people can be, can be definitely the life of the party, because I've seen these people kind of go on the limb and do this. Um, they just naturally kind of fit in the limelight. People don't, you know, question them outright. They can do what they want, and this is definitely seen with, uh, with Donald Trump. He somehow got up there, and he made it to the big leagues. Uh, and I think his moon sign is in the fourth or fifth, like it's the bottom of his chart. So to me, this means that, you know, the moon is definitely our our subconscious. It is the cradle of how we live our life. And that means it is how we act and feel at our deepest, at our at home when we're comfortable. So that means that, you know, like Sagittarius moon will just constantly generally feel comfortable and just visionary just kind of always looking on in the distance. And that's the Sagittarius kind of trait to kind of like have those eyes that are distant and far away and looking towards a brighter future. And it's all about faith because these people don't 
focus on the negative because they know they know instinctively that there's no point because you know it's kind of like Sagittarius is the middle of um it's between Scorpio and Capricorn these people know that you just learn from those negative life situations it's kind of like in their past life maybe they were they've already been through a whole bunch of crap and that's what Sagittarius is it's the middle of these two negative um harsh signs that view life in a serious way. So Sagittarius is literally meant to live life in a pure sense. They appreciate seriousness. So basically what I see as Sagittarius is the ability to live life in a naive, visionary, um, philosophical way, but with the ability to appreciate and understand seriousness. This is why Sagittarius does rule over academia. It rules over universities because it's the ability to take your work kind of seriously but not yourself so the self is not serious in this sense but it realizes that there's serious things going around it so that's the whole optimist thing that when you read about Sagittarius or you hear about them so they're naturally kind of impulsive I've, I've seen a lot of Sagittarius moons kind of move quite a far away from home because to me what I what I get with Sagittarius moon is I think I want to mention this, but it's home away from home. Meaning, the moon is your home, Sagittarius is anywhere but here. So to me, moon, home, in Sagittarius, is home that's anywhere but here. So it's like they're constantly looking for their home. And it's not necessarily in a negative way. Because they kind of view home as a state of mind and a state of moving towards something. Um... They kind of do boast and exaggerate because they don't see the point in being modest. So they might have something else in their chart, but if you have Sagittarius Moon, you're going to think and speak maybe in a way that might may, may, might make you sound like you're bragging or boasting, but it's just you enjoying your own life, saying, oh yes, I just bought this beautiful home, it's worth more than yours, but you know, it's awesome, let's go enjoy it, you know, it's just really pure, so I love Sagittarius moons, I had a crush on a few of them, uh, it's probably because my Mars is there, and that's, you know, Mars is your, your focus and sexual energy towards, but moon is so different, because it's it's your sense of your core, your inner balance, and when it's in Sagittarius, it means that you have such a focus on the future in a, in a positive way. And I would definitely encourage these people to get into teaching, uh, per, per, professing, professor, or just study. Like, um, Gemini is similar to this because it should be in that. Geminis are naturally good teachers, but a Sagittarius moon should focus on kind of keeping that around in their home, uh, with their family and friends, expressing themselves in a way that is all about curiosity, all about, um, basically Sagittarius is here to make you laugh. So these people need to ex like spread their fire energy towards other people and kind of let it in because that's your need. Your moon is your needs. So you need to keep positive regardless of the rest of your chart. If you have Sagittarius moon, you're lucky because you have the ability to absorb all the positive Sagittarius energy into your home life, into your core, because it's what you need and who, like what you're here for. Um, basically, Sagittarius doesn't look before it leaps. Even me, I don't have that much Sagittarius in my chart, but when you have Sagittarius moon, people that don't have this quality are going to look towards you and think that you're brave. I have a friend who has Capricorn moon. She's a fire sign, but her moon is in Capricorn, so she isn't a very... Emotionally, she's not a bold person. And then I have Gemini moon with Sagittarius Mars, so I've moved from, you know, to Toronto on the on the whim. I didn't have... I didn't have any money. I didn't have a job. I, I found a way to make it work. And this is what Sagittarius does, and it's just inspiring. So that's how I see Sagittarius Moon.